Hey, what's going on? It's Jerry Glean back on the scene here with another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing y'all how to properly EQ your vocals. This is one of the most crucial steps to achieving a clean and professional sounding vocal. So let's hop right in and get to it. All right, so the first thing that I wanna say is that it doesn't matter which software you're gonna be in. You could be using Pro Tools, Logic Pro, GarageBand. I'm gonna be in FL Studio. All you're gonna need is an EQ plugin loaded on your vocal channel. I'm gonna go ahead and play my vocal recording by itself and you're gonna see here on this EQ plugin that there's gonna be a visual representation of all the frequencies within my vocal. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. So in order to really understand how to EQ vocals, you have to think of music in terms of frequencies and frequencies are measured in Hertz. So you'll see on this EQ plugin over here on the left side, they have it labeled right here that this is 16 Hertz. And then this line right here, as you move up is 32 Hertz, 63 Hertz, 125 Hertz and so forth. And this goes all the way up to above 20,000 Hertz. So over here on the left side of the EQ plugin is where all of the lower frequencies in your vocal will sit. And then up here on the right side is where the higher frequencies are gonna be at. The first thing that we wanna do is just remove some of the lower frequencies from our vocal recording. And this is where a lot of plosives and background noise live at. And so removing these frequencies from our recording can really help clean things up. So the way that we're gonna remove some of the low end muddiness from our vocal is we're gonna use what's called a high pass filter. And that's this thing over here on the left side of the EQ. And the way that this works is you can drag this filter up and wherever you set it, the lower frequencies below the filter are gonna get removed from the recording and then the frequencies that are higher than the filter are gonna remain untouched and they're gonna be allowed to pass through the filter. And that's why it's called a high pass filter. So you can manually drag the filter up and down or you can use this frequency knob right here. You can also use this Q knob right here to control the steepness of your curve and this is just gonna really control the aggressiveness of your cut. I like to leave mine right here at 18. Now the question is, where do we set this filter at? So I'm gonna go ahead and put this filter back at its original starting point. All right, so a little trick is just to play the vocal by itself and bring that filter up until you start to hear the vocal sound weak and thin and you'll know that you took too much low end out and then you can back that filter off a little and find the sweet spot. So let's play the vocal and let me show you how it's done. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. If this car breaks down without a doubt, you still down for the ride. All right, so right there at about 120 hertz is where I ended up, and that's where it sounded most natural to my ear. And again, you don't want to take out too much low end from your vocal. All right, so next we want to find specific frequencies that don't sound good to our ear, and then we want to turn those frequencies down. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to grab EQ point number one, and in order to find exactly what frequency we want to turn down, we can boost this EQ point and then sweep around until we hear the specific frequency that sticks out to our ear. And then once we find that frequency, we can use the gain knob right here to turn that frequency down. And you can use this Q knob right here to increase the steepness of our curve so that way we can help pinpoint exactly which frequency is causing us our problems. I like to have my Q value at about five when I'm sweeping around trying to find which frequency sounds bad. So I'm gonna play the vocal and sweep around with this EQ point and I want y'all to listen very closely and try to identify for yourself which frequency is standing out to your ear. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. So right there at 220 hertz, it sounded just a little too powerful to my ear. So what we're gonna do is use this gain knob to decrease the volume of that frequency. So now that we found exactly what frequency we wanted to cut from the vocal, we can now use this Q knob to control the steepness of our cut. But a good rule to follow is that when you're making cuts, you wanna have a pretty sharp curve so that way you're not removing too many of the frequencies to the left and right of the EQ point. You wanna be pretty surgical with this EQ when you're cutting frequencies. All right, so let's move on. We're gonna grab EQ point number two and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna sweep around the frequency spectrum and try to find some harsh frequencies that are standing out to our ear. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. All right, so right there at about 370 hertz, that frequency stood out to my ear. It sounded like my vocal was a little boxed in. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a little bit out at that frequency. So not too much, about two decibels. 
And the reason that I didn't cut as much right here as I did on EQ point number one is because um, this frequency didn't stand out as much to my ear. So I was a little bit more gentle with my cut because it wasn't as problematic as, you know, this frequency right here at EQ point number one. All right, so let's grab EQ point number three and continue on trying to find those problematic frequencies. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. If this car breaks down without a doubt, you still down for the ride. Okay, so right there at about 1,200, my vocal just sounded a little muffled right there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove a little bit from that frequency right there. And it's worth pointing out that you know, these cuts that I'm making on my vocal with this EQ are not the exact cuts that you're going to need to make because, you know, our voices are different. We're recording on different mics. We're recording in different rooms. I'm just trying to teach y'all the method to finding those problematic frequencies in your own vocal. All right, so next, right here at about 2,000 hertz, um, this is where the natural presence in our vocal comes from. And so what we can do is we can use EQ point number four to just apply a gentle boost right there at 2,000 hertz. Um, just one to two decibels is enough to kind of help give the vocal a little help because you have to think there's so many instruments that are going to be living in your song right here in the mid range and competing for space. And you don't want your vocal to get hidden behind them. And a quick tip is that when you're boosting frequencies, it's better to have a wider Q value than it is when you're cutting frequencies, you want to have a sharper cut. But when you're boosting, you want to be a little bit more wide with your curve because you don't want it to be as noticeable that you're boosting that frequency. All right, so next we're gonna use EQ point number five and we're gonna continue on and try to find um, any more harsh frequencies. So right here at about 4,000 Hertz, I usually always find a frequency that I like to cut. So let me go ahead and play the vocal and let's see if y'all can hear it. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. So right there at about 4,200, that just sounded too sharp and harsh to my ears. So I actually like to be a little bit more aggressive with my cut right here. I'm gonna take out about um, four and a half decibels and that should do the trick. Let's play the vocal again. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? So that really helped smooth the vocal out and tame some of the aggressiveness coming from the high end. For some reason, that frequency right there is just very piercing to the ears. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is move up to the very high end of our vocal. And this is where really the shine and brightness of your vocals exist. So we can take this EQ point number six right here and we can change it to a high shelf curve. So what we've been using up until this point is what's called bell curves. And right here, we're gonna use this high shelf to boost the high end of our vocal. So whatever frequency set point we have right here set on this knob, the high shelf is gonna boost all of the frequencies above that set point. So I like to have mine right here at about 10,000 Hertz. And um, how much you decide to boost is up to you. So I'm gonna play the vocal and just aggressively boost it so you can kind of hear what it's doing to the vocal. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. If this car breaks down without a doubt, you still down for the ride. The main key with this is that you don't want to over boost to the point to where it's really harsh on the ears. You could hear when I aggressively boosted it at first, it was just way too bright. So when I you know, turned it down a little bit, it was just enough to give the vocal that sparkle effect. So up until this point, we haven't really played the vocal with the beat. And the reason that I do that is because I really wanted y'all to be able to hear exactly what we're doing with this EQ. As you gain more and more experience with using an EQ, you might find that you wanna play the beat with the vocal while you're making these changes so that way you can really hear what the EQ is doing in regards to your vocal within the whole mix. So let's go ahead and play this vocal with the beat and see how everything sounds. Losing sleep, that don't bother me now. Stay right here, can you promise me that? When the stars fade into the morning light, you be by my side. Car breaks down without a doubt, you still down for the ride. Is this reality or are we stuck inside of a dream? This world been spinning faster ever since. So that sounded pretty good to my ears, and that's really all you're gonna need to know as a beginner when learning how to EQ vocals. All right, so that's it for today. I hope y'all learned something. If you're still confused about anything, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, and I'll see you on the next video.